What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here today. I want to start thinking about a location to put my rimless five and a half gallon tank. And I also want to think about some ideas on scaping it too, so stay tuned. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany outdoors, there was Tiffany the farmer. Want to use the turn when possible? No, we're not using turn. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Hi, baby. Here's my rimless five and a half gallon tank and I've ordered some of these pieces of wood from the interwebs and in messing with this I found that this actually just will hang right there just like that isn't that that looks amazing like that hanging there so I'm gonna leave that like that and another piece here that stands that can stand in this corner like so and I'm actually in the process now of cleaning up some dragon stone and I'm trying to think of what plants I want to put in here also and how high do I want the water I think I want the water to stop probably about maybe an inch or two from the top maybe just enough for this to this little piece right here to dip down in the water and um, I want to put some tillandsia up here and ooh, I don't know what else I know I want rocks and plants and then I have this these pieces of wood so now the fun part I've got three I've got three nice pieces of dragon stone in there these things are pretty dirty when you get them they got a lot of mud on them and stuff so we'll rinse them off really good Try and get most of the mud and sediment off of them. At this little skewer here. There's like some clay stuff in there. If you don't get this stuff off, it's going to really muddy up your water. some research on this these are found in a lake in Japan and the stone is just very very beautiful and unique with all the little holes and things in it and it's soft it's a soft rock just doing a little bit at a time because I don't want to uh I don't want to set this picture down on the ground. <laughs> I use this for in the house. Ugh. All right, let me get this cleaned up and then I'll come back to you. I'm gonna start off with some of this egg crate, also known as light diffuser. This right here is gonna help me with the weight distribution of the stones. So I'm gonna cut a piece to fit the bottom of this tank here. So I need to go here. And you can get this stuff at Lowe's or Home Depot in the lighting department. And I'm just gonna cut it I need a pair of these here. We'll cut it just fine. And there we go. And that just will go in the bottom there, like so. Perfect. All right. The next decision that I need to make is do I want to use white substrate or black substrate? I'm thinking, I don't know. I kind of like the way black substrate looks, so I think I might go with that. Now I'm going to plan out 
how I'm going to have these rocks sitting here. This here has a naturally flat spot here, or man-made. <laughs> I don't know, but it's flattish here, and it's like the rock is going at an angle. And it's like the rock is going at an angle this way, so since it wants to lean to the left, I'll put that on the left, and I'll stick it right here. And that right there is going to hide the, the filter is going to go in this back corner. So I can use this rock to kind of cover it up some. And then I have these two pieces here. Let's see. It'd be nice if I can get it to... Oh yeah, there we go. I like that. It's a nice simple scape. I think I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to take a picture of it with my phone. I do have some, some java moss that I'm going to put on these branches so that the moss can grow across that over time. I think that's going to look amazing. And then, of course, some plants and perhaps some shrimp. All right. So I have a baseline of what I want to do with this. So now I have to figure out the location where to put this. I just, I don't know. I don't know where to put it. Perhaps I need to build a stand for it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Hang on. For the filtration for this one, I'm going to try one of these sponge filters out. I'm going to give this a go and see how this does in here. And that's going to go in that little corner there. And these are weighted. And with this, I also ordered a pump, an air pump, and this actually came with its own tubing, some nice silicone tubing, and happy about that. So I'm going to give this kind of filtration, filtration a whirl and see how it does in this little five gallon tank. I'm excited to get this to get this scaped and going. So I've decided that I want to use some Ugh, gosh, maybe I haven't decided. <laughs> uh, black, or should I go with the white sand? Black gravel, I think I'm going to go with the black gravel. I think the black gravel will look good with this. The white might, I don't know, make it look washed out. I don't, I just, guys, I don't know. I might, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see what each one, how it looks with each one. I'm going to take this, set it in a bag of sand, see how it looks, and then set it with the black rocks to see how that looks, and then make my decision. Be right back. I set it down in the bucket. I got some black rock down there that I dismantled from the 20 gallon long when it was going through the poisoning. And those have been rinsed out very, very well with hot water and all that. And I'm going to rinse them again, re-sanitize them, make sure that there's nothing that's going to uh, hurt the filtration and the fish that's going in this tank. And that looks great with the black rock. So I'm going to go with black rock in this tank. And I still don't know where I'm going to put it. Right now I'm currently thinking here, ignore the... The Christmas stuff. I know. It's Christmas is over. It's been over. We just don't have anywhere to store this just yet. It's kind of a fragile DIY decoration Joe made. And we don't want that to get messed up. So that right there is going to be sitting there just for now. But I can get rid of this table. And on the table is a sewing machine that I got from my grandmother's house. Well, actually it was my great-grandmother's house. But there's a old sewing machine there behind this thing other Christmas decoration ignore this but I have that it's a very old get this out of there what oh come on really 
really. And it's super heavy. There we go. There. <laughs> I've got that old domestic electric antique sewing machine. <laughs> I couldn't think of what it was. And I can move that sewing machine somewhere else. I'm thinking I can put it up on my fireplace mantle. It doesn't really fit in with the decor, but it, it I can't I'm, I'm not getting rid of it, so I'm going to move that somewhere else. And this table here, I've had this table forever, and um, I'm okay with getting rid of that. Or maybe seeing if that tank will fit on there. I don't think it's wide enough that way. I can check and see. But if not, then I can always build something to go right here. Um... I'm pretty handy with that kind of stuff and y'all I got some of this antique stuff from my grandmother's house look at that I bet you guys have not seen something like this that's super old and look at that olive oil and it's still got olive oil in it and this Yeah, there's still some stuff in there too. And it's ooh, it's got one of those kind of applicators there. You don't see that anymore. You just don't see that. So got some antique bottles here. I'm gonna be keeping these forever. But anyway, back to that. Um I gotta find somewhere to put that and let me see if that tank will fit on here. Let's see how wide this is. Uh, not wide enough. But I'm thinking right here because there is a a plug. There's a plug behind that chair there. Yeah. So I'd have electricity. I can just take that chair, move it over that way some. Take this, move it over that way some and go from there i'll put that to lanzia right there it's not i'm going to super glue it there but for now i'll just have it sitting there and i'm just taking a look at the overall look and aesthetic of this and i, I really like it and um really looking forward to escaping this getting the rocks in there getting some plants in there getting this tank cycled and getting it ready for the fish that i'm thing left to do was put some plants in this set this up and get it cycling and get it so it's ready for the 
the fish that I'm going to put in. I almost gave it away. <laughs> I think I mentioned what I'm going to put in here. But in case I haven't, stay tuned. So the next time you see this tank, I'm going to go ahead and um, scape it. Get some plants in here. Get it set up in the spot. I know what spot I'm going to put it in. And stay tuned for that video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.